Yeah, it's a great film. Uh, I'd like to uh, start to um, ask about uh, your full name. Can you please tell us? Yeah, it's, uh, my name is Saman. And uh, your last name is Im. Uh, S A M A N and the last name E A M. Where were you born? In Cambodia. And which uh, city? Kampot. Uh, and uh, when were you born? When mm. was it? Chamu. Um, like 1946. How many siblings do you have? Brothers and sisters? I have like uh, six. Uh, five brother and one uh, sister. Five brother and uh, the total is six, six, six. Were you the oldest, the youngest? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the youngest. Youngest of all? All, all, all of my only <laughs> passed away only, <laughs> only me. Can you tell us about your childhood? What was it like? What do you mean? About your childhood when you were younger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before I think that um, when I was born, I think uh, during like uh, the the second war, second war, I mean, the, the 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 fighting that uh, under the a friend they uh, uh, controlled in Cambodia when I was born in nineteen forty six. That uh, that is, uh, I think, very very poor the, uh, the people in Cambodia. Sometimes have no school. You must be to learn at the, the, the temple, the, the, from the, the the monk, from the Buddha, something like that. When I was born, and after that, um, when I really go to a school, I went to school in the the Buddha school, Buddha school, and after that go to like. Uh, regular school and until that uh, we uh, married and we're not uh, living like uh, my city again I moving to uh, living like uh, the province called Kok Kong mm -hmm. that uh, that time I wasn't a soldier in the army something like that With me? In the soldier. Around uh, 23, something like that. 23, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got, uh, that time we got five beta, right? they call like, uh, the Vietnam beat coming. The five beta, uh, they call it Yek Kong. Fighting with the beat, uh, Yek Kong. But uh, I think that uh, that time I uh, was lucky that uh, then all the soldiers go to, to fighting, that uh, my wife had a, a pregnant. <laughs> so I, I, um, let, I uh, tell to uh, the, the guy that, that I cannot go because my wife almost uh, like a pregnant or almost uh, nine months. Eh? So they stay in home, they the fighting, they're all gone. Yeah. The Yek, uh, Yek Kong uh, uh, fight thing, all that the group is gone. Only me and uh, my brother, they still have a life in the, my place, in the uh, Kok Kong. I think. That means like, um, in 1970, they, uh, I don't know how to uh, say the English, uh, the the Lonnal, uh, uh, Lonnal, they, um, they uh, take uh, the space from the Senu. Senu is uh, the, like, uh, here, uh, the princess, eh? yeah. And they take space from the Senu. I don't know how they, how they call it in English. That uh, the Cambodian under the, the uh, right now, uh, the, the Lonnal, they take here, the whole thing in the Cambodian. That the fighting, fighting with uh, Khmer Khom, with uh, the Yek Kong, with the Vietnamese. 
1975, the London runway, the in Cambodia the, the control from the the Khmer Rouge. Yes. Okay. Then, then. So during the conflict uh, with the London government, um, what happened when you were? What did you do back then? Yeah, the the. I'm a, a, a soldier. I, I told uh, you I'm a soldier, but uh, when uh, my group go to fight with the the Khmer Kham and the uh, Kong, the Viet Kong and the uh, Khmer Kham uh, fight that my group uh, split away, not uh, no more group. Yeah? Something like that. I mean like I stay uh, that, that after that I stay home. Yeah? And uh, when I stay home, when the my home uh, come to fight again. That means I am, I'm, I am under the control of my home, my home control. The uh, Pol Pot uh, control, something like that. You know that uh, Pol Pot and my home, they're the same thing. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, from uh, 1975 to 1979, that during that uh, years, very, very uh, hard to live in, you know. I had no food, no nothing, something like that we work, uh, work too much, working too much. Work without the uh, food, work without the uh, medicine. In 1979, that means like, uh, the Vietnamese come through to the Cambodia, fighting with the uh, Khmer Khom, and Khmer Khom run, run away from the uh, like uh, city from the from the Phnom Penh, run to the the border of the Thailand. That uh, me uh, two of them live in uh, the Koh Kong, the Khmer Khom to point me with the. Uh, the gun, you must be to go. If you don't go, uh, they kill it. I don't uh, think so. I don't want uh, to leave from uh, my country. But at uh, that time, I had no, no My wife was uh, pregnant, almost nine months. I have another three children. They are uh, still uh, all uh, very, very young. Eh? When I escape from over there, I have no food, no nothing. We uh, ran across uh, the country like that. Uh, we climb up the, the mountain about, uh, I think uh, the people they say over there they are almost a uh, hundred a mountain. We climb without the food, without, without uh, medicine, nothing. We are uh, walking. During uh, the day and the night, uh, 22 days and 22 nights, uh, until uh, we get at uh, the Thailand. After, uh, before, I wanted to uh, tell you about uh, when, we, during we walking, about around um, 20 days, my, my wife, she almost uh, like, uh, Delivery. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pregnant. That day, I think that um, the May, May 7, 
She woke up early in the morning. I saw her first. <laughs> Looked like uh, very tired. I asked her, you okay? She said, okay. And uh, after that, okay, let's go. We walk from uh, around uh, 7 and 9 in the morning until uh, 7 in the evening. Have no food, no water. 7 in the morning, that time, uh, we don't know where the place. A little uh, the shower, but I have no water. A little, a little south on the mountain have no water. And she, she said, oh, the baby may be coming. <coughs> then, huh, what's body with you? May it happen around seven o'clock evening. We try to uh, walk a little bit because the, in the, all the like a uh, forest. We can walk within about a hundred uh, meters. We have a little. Um, I don't know how to call it. Uh, we kind of see something a uh, little bit. Uh, have a, a little, uh, little tree, uh, small, small like that. Okay, we try to uh, sleep in there, relax in there until uh, the morning. Get in the morning. That mean uh, uh, my brother just uh, come uh, with me to that time. My brother come uh, with me to. I try to uh, carry so my wife go to work again. Uh, try to um, carry my brother and my, me uh, carry my wife like what what they call them uh, a hammock. Uh, a hammock. Uh, try to put uh, her in the, the hammock. But we cannot. Uh, we go because the uh, the line is not uh, go straight. We go like this. When we hammock, we will not go. And after that, <coughs> my brother and my wife, my wife said, oh, okay, I try to walk. She walked with uh, the, uh, the, 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 the bleeding, the bleed all. And um, we walked about uh, one, one day. That uh, during the day, what full day they go down, 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 down from the mountain, look like uh, that, very, very down. We uh, get uh, that uh, another place, have the, the, the river. I don't know what, what they call the, the river, they call it uh, Banham River. The big river and uh, the deep river. river. The people just uh, they swim across the, the river <coughs> and I thinking, what can I do right now? My my wife, she cannot uh, swimming, and I after that I, I cut the tree, make uh, like uh, <coughs> what uh, the what what you call it, uh, uh, raft, the uh, tie or something like that. And I put my wife on the raft. I uh, swimming, I push. Uh, the rabbit to do the, another <coughs> across the river. And my son, uh, they, uh, he was uh, nine years old. Right now, he's in Ottawa. My son is young. Uh, Help me uh, swim and push the, the rabbit go to the, across the river. When we are across already, around maybe nine o'clock, you cannot see anything. Uh, that um, mean like uh, we live in the one 
day and one night and we uh, try to uh, go to the, the Thai. Right now we are uh, close to the, the Thai border. We go to the, the mount, from the mountain to the, the lower, lower, and then when uh, we pass all the leads, that they're okay. After that, I heard like uh, the Thai people said, you should be go to live in the camp. I, I said, okay, I'm going. I am, all my family, all my friends will go, not go to the camp. They uh, um, stay in the truck, eh? the uh, Thai truck they put in there. They, they around, uh, they driving around uh, one hour, one. All right, um, um, can you retell, let's go, let's go back to where um, you and your wife have to cross uh, the river. Can you tell okay. us, retelling that yeah. part again? Yeah. Now we uh, are across the deep, um, uh, the, the river. Eh? So we um, stay in there one night and one day. We uh, run away from there to uh, the, the Thai, the Thai border. We, uh, that's uh, the mountain from uh, Cambodia and uh, the, the Thai below them. We walk too, too low, like uh, we climb in like uh, the wall, something like that, but we go in down. After that, uh, the Thai uh, said, uh, who uh, the one to go to, uh, to live in uh, the camp? But uh, I said, uh, for me, I need to go to camp because I have uh, like a small baby to have was born by, uh, uh, yesterday. And we cannot live in there, have no food, no anything in there too. That, that means uh, the Thai uh, the brought up, uh, about uh, 10, uh, the truck, uh, like something, and with uh, they call it uh, in Cambodia, they call a uh, container truck, uh, the big big truck, something like that. They go. To, they told me go to the live in the camp. Yeah, I go in in my my family in the the car, the truck, and the, 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 the drive about uh, one day. I think maybe uh, get in the camp right now, but not the camp. They bring me, give to the, the Khmer Rouge. Yeah, in the Khmer Rouge. That time is been like uh, around uh, 7 o'clock in the morning in, in the evening. The Khmer Rouge stay in there that you must be go far away from there. They just are fighting from the, the Vietnam in, in there. I say, oh my God, I run about 22 days right now. Uh, come to uh, the face to play again, fire again. You walk that uh, the night time and the ra raining too. Then we mean uh, like uh, we, we don't know where is it that the water or something, uh, a lot of water. And we try to uh, sleep then during that uh, night. I don't know, we just uh, sleep around uh, the forest and we, the morning we run uh, again. We run again, they say that you must be go to uh, fighting with uh, the Vietnamese. The Khmer said, uh, I cannot say anything because uh, I'm, maybe I say anything, I cannot go, maybe they kill me. Yeah? I just uh, keep quiet. After that, I run away that from uh, the, the Khmer Rouge go to the Thailand. The Thai uh, go to live in the border. That then that time, a lot of people we don't know who is it who is that. But the, a lot, maybe a, a thousand, a thousand of people who have no food, nothing. Have uh, no nothing. That means uh, after that, uh, my children they got sick. Very very sick. I don't know what they uh, they call. Only one month, my. Four children gone, passed away. Four children, one man.
God. And they have one, my big son, and I her. And some now just go up on our, a few days, they still alive right now. After that, we try to uh, run away from there, go to Thailand again. We stay in there about uh, three months. No food, no nothing. The rain during that day, raining. And after that, uh, like uh, United Nations come to pick a lot, a lot of people around India, bring to the camp. That means I say, oh, my life. So we go to uh, the camp without them. Four children are gone. Only my uh, first uh, son and my youngest daughter go to uh, the camp. After that, I think they be my, my mind not good. Every I, uh, I saw that uh, the bus coming, I said, oh, maybe they bring my children come. I will try to <laughs> wait till my children in you know, order. Do you want to take a break? Um? That's okay. And my wife said, why do you come to stay here? I told her I was thinking about my, my children. My wife said, your children gone. But uh, my life, until we stay in the camp of our four or five years in the camp. We try to uh, go to live in any country that uh, like the uh, USA, like uh, Belgium, France, Japan, but they don't uh, take me. I try to. Uh, Give the, the letter to the uh, Canadian ambassador. They take and interview you and the past come here. When I came here around 1985, during like the um, September, uh, they, Around, uh, around uh, December, something like that. Okay, we can get back there later. We can let's um, talk where you were at the at the camp. Uh, when did you arrive? In the camp. In camp. Oh, that um, all the United Nations they uh, take me to uh, the camp. Yeah, United Nations. They uh, take me to uh, the camp. How did you meet them? I think that they go around the, the border. They know that they know that the people over there. That uh, during that time, all uh, UN uh, around look around over there, and uh, the Thai have to have have the United Nations to have the. Where the people, Cambodian people living, they they know that. So they brought me to uh, the camp. 
before I uh, went to uh, the my road camp. After that, they uh, move me to the move to the like uh, Kawidang camp. Uh, live in the Kawidang time camp. So we we'll get into Kawidang camp. I work in. I, I'm a, a teacher, teaching all the the people. They. Uh, what did you teach? Yeah, yeah, the Khmer, Khmer teaching, yeah. Like them, uh, they learn. We uh, work in like, um, what they call a uh, woman program. We work in there. Uh, concern. They call a concern, woman program. And until we... Uh, Come to Canada. Oh, I'm staying at the camp. Have one another one uh, one child in body. We was born in there. Tok La. Have another child. Yeah, yeah. Have one over there. You know that, don't him? Tok La. No, okay. So that uh, when we get uh, here, uh, the English we know, but uh, not much. A little bit. Uh, we learn in uh, some, but not uh, not very good, not uh, very well. We came here during that uh, the month is cold, uh, that cold, 1985. We stay in here one month. They passed to 1986. <laughs> so uh, right now, I think that uh, we are. My lucky with um, the government of Canada, they take me from over there to here, and I just only pay only the ticket like uh, f uh, flew from the the Thai to here. Yeah, then I pay back to the government. Uh, we pay around maybe around uh, four thousand, but uh, not pay all that. Yeah, the pay sixty six dollar a month. You pay every month that's gone. <laughs> that's done. <laughs> and right now, my uh, children, like uh, my uh, young uh, one, is uh, around 50 years old. He have the, the family, have the house. They live in uh, Canada. Oh, no, no, I don't, maybe, yeah, around Canada. And uh, my youngest uh, son, they live, they live in uh, like a Carrington place. They have a family, have a house. And uh, some now they live with me in the uh, Bahamian. That's it. Before you get to Canada, do you remember how long you stayed in uh, in the refugee camp? Oh, uh, five, five months, uh, five years. You stayed there for five yeah, years? Yeah, from 1979 uh, to 1985. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you've been the whole time? Yeah. You've been teaching? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I work neighborhood, I stop in the camp. Mm. I have a lot of people and have like, uh, they work from, the, uh, they call uh, uh, the, the woman program. Yeah, that I teach the, the, the writing, talking, and with the, the sewing, the sewing, the, the clothes, something like that. So you teach young girls and... No, they, they, they take only like, uh, not they take a young girl, they take like that, uh, uh, me, my, okay, the widow, uh, they, uh, like um, uh, the Cambodia, they call uh, Mai Mai. They take mm -hmm. uh, Mai Mai, all the, the Mai Mai, they come, yeah. have uh, the choice to, to come to learning, to take that, that, like that. When they learn, learn they, uh, they give the, the money to the, the student, one uh, hundred uh, baht every month, uh, something like that. <laughs> uh, and um, it's too, too hard to uh, live in, in the camp. Eh? Sometimes uh, like, uh, I got from the 
uh, fighting with uh, like, uh, what do they call it? Uh, the, the, the stolen, yeah, the stolen the, the chow. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That means like um, not easy living uh, a Kavidam camp, not easy, but uh, better than uh, any beer. <laughs> Can you describe the Kawidang camp? Yeah. Yeah, that um, we live in there, they um, give like the food every uh, oh, every week. They give the, the rice, the uh, like, uh, rubber boot, like uh, they call it ox, eh? mm. rice and everything for the, for the food. Yeah? Sometimes I have a fish. Dry fish, something. <laughs> yeah, better, better, better than uh, we live in Cambodia. Uh, we, uh, when we live in Cambodia with a uh, Khmer Rouge, with a Pol Pot, have no food, nothing to eat. We work never stop. How did you cope? How did you survive? Ooh. When, uh, when uh, the, in, uh, during the, uh, the Pol Pot, <coughs> that means uh, that time I have the lucky. I have lucky, only me, not my, why not my children? The poor poor uh, saw me like uh, the skin, the face, they said, oh, that uh, means uh, my, my partner. They think king like that. They take me to live with uh, like, uh, them. Let me... Uh, um, like do like um, what I mean like um, secretary something like that yeah that I always uh, uh, report from the uh, the people come they uh, grow like uh, the rice something they grow the potato something so I I write down and give to them so so they met you and they saw you yeah so they said. They decided to take yeah, they decide, they said, oh, that's my partner. They decide like that. Eh? So you're part of working with them. So you're yeah. working for the Khmer Rouge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, only the me, uh, writing like, um, what do they call like, um, uh, I forgot that. The Khmer call a smin, like um, secretary. Yeah, right. yeah, secretary, yeah. Do like that. So that uh, I have um, uh, some eat, but uh, not uh, not enough. No? They eat uh, the people. The people they, they over there. They they eat uh, some rice. I have some rice. Okay? Not like a people do not have nothing to eat. So my wife, my children have nothing to eat. Only me. Something like that. Just have a little bit, little bit, little bit. One can, you know, the can they uh, they uh, give to uh, eat uh, twenty people. The right one can, twenty people. Half in the morning, half in the evening. Isn't it? That means like uh, the people a lot. They die a lot over there. Have no food. I don't know what they do. Something like that. Hmm, that's it right now. Can you tell us more how your how you work with them? How you what's what your life was like with being a part of Khmer Rouge? The Khmer Rouge, all the people, they ah, uh, they don't know that the. We make like uh, dig uh, the ground, and uh, I forgot that uh, they call. Uh, I don't know the color. G Pelai, look the nobody make like a canal, eh? a canal, eh? do like a canal and uh, do something like that. But for me, I just um, uh, secretary about uh, four or five. Hour and after that we go to work, but with them about one, two, three hours. I said, 
<laughs> that mean uh, I'm lucky. Then uh, people, people have no no choice. All people not lucky like me. The people, the the Khmer people, they saw me like uh, the skin uh, a little dark. The faces they think, oh, that maybe he's Khmer too. <laughs> so they think thinking like that. Eh? That means uh, I live better than the, the people. So I know how to uh, write thing, know how to do something. Then. When they uh, try to do this, I do this. Try to do that, I do that. I never say no. When you say no, they kill it. When you eat, have a little bit to eat, they say, they say, okay, must be to say okay. They're not. Then you don't say okay, they kill it. Okay. When we work too hard, not say, oh, I'm tired. No, 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 not, not say like that. When you say like that, they kill it. I have no choice. You must be to, uh, to do something what they, uh, they tell it. We cannot, uh, we know no choice to talk with them, no. They say uh, like that, uh, like this, too, like that, this, the same like uh, he said it. Not, uh, not say no, just only say yes. That's it. How about your family? My family, they, they live not with me, no. You, you were living far apart from your family? Yeah, we were like that, not, not live all the way there. My, my children live away, my wife live away, me live away, not, no, no, not, not live all together. All my uh, brother, my uh, sister, I never see it. I don't know where they live in. Just they, they uh, separate away, away, we don't know that. And mean, like, uh, it's too hard to live. I think like uh, you, you guys, very, very lucky. Have a very, very lucky for me, no? I know everything for the, the harder, harder. When we came in Canada, I have nothing. I have no uh, English, I have no job. I have no school. We go went to school about six months. After that, uh, we uh, find a job. Uh, have a job. My wife have a job. Work all together. My children went to school. That's it. I think that all my children, all like uh, you, is very very lucky. Okay. Let's get to the back to the refugee camp. Um, before you get into Canada, you had were you meeting the? You said you met the the union. This uh, your sponsors? No, the other uh, government in Canada is sponsored me. Not the union. You had to make an application. Yeah, application like that. that. The first time they um, come to uh, interview with the uh, ambassador, they asked me that, 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 and my brother, he, he lives in uh, Texas, United States, the, the same name, the same uh, uh, last name, they asked me, who said? I said, my brother. And the ambassador, they said, oh, your brother live in uh, Texas? I said, yes. Yeah. They put a stamp, yeah, you must be go to see your brother over here. My uh, test failed. After that, about three months, I put an application to them. They called me again, and they uh, asked me the same before. I said, oh, this one, just the, the same last name. I want them to uh, make like that, the brother. So, the two uh, uh, sponsored me to uh, United States, but they, they can't. And after that, uh, I'm a, uh, so I said, oh, 
you you want to you want to pay back for the uh, flight ticket? I say yes. Okay, okay, you pass right now. They put me pass. <laughs> that uh, we talking about uh, when we became in uh, Canada, something like that. Uh, too hard to too hard to 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 come here, but um, we have um, the Canada they. Uh, Take like the, the people, only the one family, four people, okay. Yeah. One uh, uh, have a, one family, have a two children, that's okay. But more than two, two children, they don't, don't talk about before, no. But uh, in Canada, uh, all the people come to Canada, the government they choose the good, good people to come in. How many? people were you when you applied? Oh, five. Five people. But uh, the, my uh, older uh, son, he uh, um, 18, they separated, it's OK. <laughs> when 18, they, they separated only the, the, uh, the only four. <laughs> How long did it take uh, for it to process? How long do you have to wait to get About this? three months. Three months before yeah. getting to Canada. Yeah, three months. <laughs> so we're, we're, I'm very, very happy. Yeah? When oh my my life right now, I think it's a good life. Uh, five, three months passed, then come to Canada. Do you remember when you left the the camp? I think. Oh, I, I, I forgot that, that time. Do you remember what year? Uh, 85. 1985. And 85 around... Um, maybe around uh, June, eh? uh, 85 June, something like June. Oh, spring, summer. Yeah, June, June like something that, that they bring me back from um, camp. Come down, come to live like stay in uh, like uh, another kind of uh, Bangkok, like uh, they call a transit. They stay in there about three months, and uh, until uh, like uh, September, December, November, the, the no November, they uh, bring me. That's here. when you arrive. Yeah. Where? Which city? In here. In Canada? Yeah, in, in Ottawa. So you first arrived in Ottawa, yeah. straight? Yeah, <laughs> in, 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 uh, in uh, Ottawa, that's it. I never would move anywhere, <laughs> just stay in Ottawa. What was your first impression? Hmm? What was your first impression of Ottawa? In the life, we'll stay like uh, two months in a hotel um, uh, called uh, Bikonham, Bikonham Hotel. Um, uh, in uh, downtown city, we are close to like, uh, a parliament here, something like that. <laughs> then in uh, two months, have a, uh, we're looking for the, uh, the house for rent. Eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and after that, Pu uh, Chum Brown got the whole, uh, they rent the house like that. Uh, before, the, after that, we go to live like uh, Lee Avenue. You were leave some of you? Yeah. yeah. yeah Living there about uh, one month, oh, uh, one year. After that, we moved from there to live in the Ottawa housing. <laughs> so from, go ahead, sir. Yeah, uh, from Ottawa housing, we bought the house like uh, Central Park. You know the uh, Central Park? You know that? Uh, Central Park? Uh, Central Park, that, uh, uh, between uh, Mirwell and uh, uh, Baseline. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, we sold the house, go to buy uh, another house at the boy even. You've been moving around a lot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know why uh, I sold that, that the house? Because uh, my wife passed away. That uh, we live in uh, uh, Central Park. Not that she not passed in here, passed in Cambodia. Uh, 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 was by. Uh, Killed by a uh, accident. The car hit like a motorcycle. 
my wife uh, uh, with my uh, wife sister they do the uh, motorbike take on and the car come the hit from the back Listen. my wife passed away about uh, three years like that that was when during her trip to Cambodia if I remember. yeah we just got over there one week. They, they passed away. Sorry to hear that. Mm. That's it. Can you describe your first year when you got into to Ottawa? Can you just tell us your experience? Oh, when we uh, came in uh, Ottawa, we don't know that it's too cold, eh? but uh, we stay in the hotel, we just uh, See, like from uh, the hotel to the outside, oh, very sun, uh, sunny. I think, oh, but maybe, maybe it's so hot over there. <laughs> we try to the, the, with the, 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 the shot. <laughs> oh, very cold, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> oh, that means like uh, we don't know anything. We don't know that. We know about uh, to uh, turn on, turn off, go to the toilet, something like that, the uh, washroom, we know already. But we don't know that uh, really cold or, or hot to see the, the outside. Oh, look like uh, sunny, look like very hot. Over there in the uh, Cambodia, the, when you see the, the, the sunshine like that, uh, very, very hot. <laughs> in there, not in there. So that uh, we uh, live in there, that uh, when we go to buy something, eh, like we buy something, we're thinking, oh, one dollar. But before we came here, we stay in the, uh, the camp of the, the Thailand. We uh, spend with the uh, Thai money, eh? money, but uh, different, different. Like, uh, oh, one dollar is too much. Uh, the, the, um, how many baht something? Like, so we don't, and they gave uh, six dollar for one person every day. Every day, six dollar for person, something. <laughs> <laughs> and they try to looking around over there the uh, Cambodian store. That means like a Mekong that uh, open it. Me Mekong open the store. We go to the Mekong store, buy some rice, some um, selfish, some. <laughs> we go uh, looking for the uh, uh, Asian food, uh, something like that. That's the first time, but uh, right now everywhere we have it. <laughs> <laughs> but you, when you first arrived here, did you find any difficulty to eat the first your first time eating Canadian food? That, uh, but, but for me, okay. For me, I I I, I like uh, ate like uh, uh, bread, like a uh, sandwich, that uh, hamburger. That's uh, okay for me. For me, okay. <laughs> we came in. Um, the, we arrived first at uh, the Mongsha. The, what they call it, uh, the airport, or you, uh, and uh, they, they transfer from a small plane to here. Yeah. They will stay in uh, about one, two hours, and we came here, found a small plane to here. And they are like a cutly uh, immigration, a cutly immigration, they, they take here. They take care about the uh, refugee, maybe they looking for the house, for the a hotel for me. <laughs> and this is also, th that was also where you met the, um, Om Jimran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimran, they, uh, they go to see uh, me first. Eh? And after that, Jimran, uh, oh, you want to see the good man. Yeah, when you, you take care of all the people on there, when it happened, call me. <laughs> so I have a lot of people come up be, uh, after me. Eh? I, after that, I have a lot of people. I cook the rice. I, uh, my wife make like uh, the noodle. After that, give to them. Every uh, boy, uh, the people come after me. They know, they know me. <laughs> I have a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I like to have them. I like to have them in here, in all of our, uh, but uh, right now I don't, I, I not uh, stay too long. And all the people, the kids like uh, 
him like her, they, they know me. The old people, they know me. <laughs> Before I, I work with Pooh uh, Jim Khan, with an uh, association, association, yeah, all together. And right now, the, I retired about uh, five years. Why you retired? <laughs> what was um, your the hardest part to get? I'm sorry. When was your? What was the hardest part that you had to in, survive your first year in in Ottawa? Did that you have uh, a difficult time. That uh, have they have um, the the government to take care of me. Yeah? They uh, they give the money to uh, me to uh, living, give money to the school. We take uh, after that we take uh, money from the the government to uh, to, to living and. and until I, I have a job, eh? yeah, like that. The job was the hardest yeah. part. We before we work with uh, the bandmaster, work uh, they call uh, make the, the bread, some bread or something like that, and the cleaner and uh, uh, we uh, work with the uh, factory with a uh, cut uh, the wood, eh? cut the wood, do something like uh, to build the house something. After that. We uh, go to, to work with uh, the electronic at uh, Asopol. You know that uh, Asopol? You know that? No. A lot of people, uh, Cambodian people, they work there. Electronic. They do like a power supply. Something like that. And right now I live free. <laughs> uh, before. Until right now, we live free, but uh, it's too hard before. Very, very hard until uh, right now, okay. Can you tell us more about uh, how did you find your, your first job, your first occupation? The first job? That means uh, the people work in, uh, at the bandbuster, they, they, they make uh, the bread like the, like, make like the pizza, bread, something like that. I, I know the people in there. I go to work in there. I just I don't worry about the uh, um, put the application because I go to work there. <laughs> so you work at the pizzeria? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 I work there about uh, two years. After that, we go to uh, cleaning. Cleaning uh, during uh, the night time. We start from uh, 4 to uh, 12, midnight. Mm, around uh, two, three years, and after that we go to work with the uh, factory, like we cut like, uh, the wood, something like that. And after that, we go to uh, work like uh, electronic. <laughs> uh, electronic is uh, the, the, the good job. Uh, we stay in the chair like that. Uh, we do like the, the steer, chair have a the wheel, uh, like uh, that small, small wheel, you move around, <laughs> easy to do. <laughs> but uh, too hard to uh, uh, soldering. You might be to know that the uh, color code, uh, something like that. The, the, the black, uh, like uh, become the have the black is they call it zero. Like uh, brown is number one, yellow is number two, some, something like that. Color code with uh, the register. You might be to know that one. They work. Uh, that's okay. That's still <laughs> okay. Right now we okay. Right now I just take money from my um, retire. It's okay. <laughs> How long did you work for that company? Yeah, I think the, more than ten years. Uh, and in uh, like uh, after fall, work there more than ten years. <laughs> And you already retired. So how long you've been retired? Uh, right now, uh, maybe a six months, a six year. You know how old, my, old am I right now? Can you guess it? Probably in your in your seventies. Seven. Uh, right now, seventy-three. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. When you first, uh, I'm sorry, during your time living in Canada, did you ever, did you ever go back to visit Cambodia? Yeah, yeah. 
1992, I went one time. After that, uh, until uh, 2007. From 1992, I, I went to the one time that I still fighting. Yeah. And we go to second time in uh, 2007. After 2000, I went every year. <laughs> <laughs> Back and forth. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we went uh, one month, one and a half month, come back, and uh, right now, no. Did you miss your homeland? Yeah. yeah I, uh, but I have no brother, no sister, only my niece, my nephew over there. Only there. My name is nephew and my nephew children, my nephew children, something like that, they stay with it. For my brother, sister, no. Because I'm young, the youngest. All the older, older gone. <laughs> Did you ever think of going back? Yeah. And live there? Yeah. Sometimes uh, I miss that place, you know, the, like we stay here. The, like all like me stay home like like home alone you know my uh, daughter went to work i stay home just stay alone no <laughs> so when i went over there i have a lot uh the people of uh, during the day during the night that <laughs> that different uh, like that eh? in here okay everything okay but uh look, look like uh, lonely if uh, my wife is, is I still uh, right now, that's okay. But uh, right now, I have no. My wife is gone, so make me not not go to. <laughs> Do you ever feel at home when you're living in Canada? Yeah, I feel some. Oh my God, right now I so boring, I live uh, lonely, something like that. Not. Not good for for the people who are living lonely like that. Eh? Not not good. So you would rather live in Cambodia? Yeah, I, I go to Cambodia, go and come back, go and come. I just come back from the uh, one week right now. From the, I just come back from the, the, the about one week. How often do you go to Cambodia? Do you live? Do you go? Once a year or once a year? Once a year, once a year when the, uh, the cold is coming, I'm going. <laughs> when the cold is coming, I, I'm going. When the, the warm is coming, I come back. <laughs> yeah, I escape from the cold, that's it. In the, the, the summer, we walk around, we are, uh, jogging, do, then right now, I have nothing to do, stay home. <laughs> yeah, like that. So later, you decide to plan to retire in Cambodia as well. Can you tell what's going to be your plan? Yeah, you uh, in Cambodia. I think that uh, not good to live in in, in Cambodia because of that. Uh, the food everything is not not good like in here. Like uh, traffic not good in there. In there they have the, they know they follow like uh, the law of the, the traffic over there. No, not not good uh, for that. But uh, we just uh, thinking good. We met a lot of uh, uh, friend. A lot of uh, relatives, something like that. Eh? And uh, the, the temperature is warm over there, just like that. When they're cold in here, I go over there. Like that. <laughs> the living good in Canada, very good, very good. No, no country look like in Canada, no? The can, can, can die the best of the world. Yeah. In Cambodia, oh, not not very really good. But we might be that that like um, the homeland. You know? they call that, that the homeland. We always miss it. It's uh, too hard to to live, but we still miss it. I miss it. Something like that. What do you think of 
But you miss a lot of Cambodia. Yeah, we miss a lot. Uh, like uh, we, when we watch war, it's too hard to live in. But we still uh, uh, remember memory in, in here. Yeah? That, uh, we don't think we thinking it's too hard. Why you want to go to live in? But we still <laughs> in uh, my mind. Yeah? By uh, it's, uh, example, if you live in uh, Ottawa, something like that, we was born in Ottawa. We too small. You go to live and we are just still remember uh, in uh, Ottawa, something like that. Eh? Yeah, not like that. We uh, live over there that uh, look like we're free, but are not free over there. Not, not free. We, we cannot uh, live in, uh, in Canada, they're different, not, not the same in Canada. Like a food, we're looking for the food, we're too hard to look in <laughs> the food everywhere. <laughs> in here, it's, uh, food have uh, like uh, you put some, uh, a good place to uh, put like uh, a chicken, a beef, something that we the good place to uh, to keep it. No, over there, they just hang around. <laughs> Tell your stories to your children about it. Mm -hmm. Do you tell your? Do you talk about uh, to your? I'm sorry. Do you tell your story to, to your children about your experience? My children. Your youngest children. My was I was younger children. Eh? Uh, my my children. Your children. Your, my children. Okay. There are my uh, children then here. When he came here, like uh, my uh, first uh, son, he went to sc uh, school, to like uh, school after that, uh, he worked and go to school and work, go to school and work, until uh, he m married, yeah, that uh, they work, uh, they bought a house, everything okay, but uh, not too hard to, uh, to care about my uh, my children, they know that they know how to do it. I just tell them that do like this, do like that, uh, like this good, like this not good, like that not good. Something they they know, they know, they know. Like uh, uh, Samna, uh, she went to school and she went to work. Went to school, <laughs> went to work. <laughs> right now uh, she have a good job. Um, when I went to go to job, we work with uh, like uh, uh, Health Canada. Yeah, they work at uh, Health Canada for the government. And uh, uh, the last one is Tola. He worked like, uh, I think, uh, any job he worked before we go to uh, work at uh, uh, Alberta, like uh, the Dick. Drill the, the hole for the, the oil, work with the oil company. <laughs> and right now, in, I don't know, right now we work like, a, I don't know, a contract and something like that. <laughs> I mean, what I was saying that uh, to, to your children, do you tell them about your life? Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I tell them, uh, um, I tell a little, uh, them uh, writing, I tell it. Uh, I, I told them that um, my story told uh, them is uh, too hard to uh, um, take care of them. So very, very hard. Eh? Something like, like uh, Sam Nang, she, she knows 100% right now. I, because uh, I told her so, so many times. <laughs> Before I let her the writing, the, the date, some uh, happen, something like that. They know that. They uh, they know that every day. So I, I don't want to uh, talk uh, the past a long time. It make me uh, uh, too hard in the, my heart eh? <laughs> when we talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk like uh, too hard, too hard to talk it. When we talk it. Look like we are still right now. Eh? 
look like uh, uh, we're still alive right now. A long time, uh, how many years right now? For around 50 years? About 40 years. For, yeah, about 40, for, for 40 years, for more than 42 years, yeah, something like that, like that. But when we talk it, not like 40 years, look like right now. <laughs> So, right now, sometimes I uh, um, watching like that uh, when we interviewed uh, about four or five years ago at uh, Toronto. Then uh, I cannot uh, hold my teeth. <laughs> Did you see it? No, I haven't, not yet. No? You just uh, go to the YouTube, uh, put uh, some nang in, they, they're coming. I will have a look. Yeah. <laughs> and um, another thing, what can uh, Canadians or younger Canadians, um, younger generation, um, learn from your personal experience in Canada's Southeast Asian refugee program? Oh, that uh, one sometimes being uh, too hard to tell them. Uh, the, they uh, born in there, they don't know the everywhere, they don't know sometimes. They, sometimes they, they know it. Sometimes they don't know that and they say, I don't believe it. Sometimes they, they say, one that the true, the one like my children, when I, I told them, sometimes they just uh, say, uh, okay, but they don't know. When they went to, uh, back to the country, they know of that the, the people, the poor people, that are uh, too hard to live, something like that. If uh, the young the children in there, they are very, very lucky. They, they born in uh, the good country. And the, the, the government, they take care of all the, the people in there. They know the government, they know, oh, you poor, you learn or you not. The government, they know, 100% they know it. That. In over there, they know. They don't know, they don't care about that. I say that if please uh, the young or the children, the generation, they just make me, must be to uh, take care themselves and follow that uh, the government said, something like that, like you, you the, the good girl, just uh, living in there, have a job, have anything like that. Good, very, very good. And if like, uh, do like uh, the refugee, like uh, the me come here, my children have nothing, me have nothing. Right now they have the job, they have the house, okay. That if uh, the people do like that, everybody all together, I think make the stronger, stronger the, the people live in Canada, something like that. Yeah, like you do, you know how to do everything, something like that. <laughs> yeah, you know that. Yeah. And the people, but some people come here not uh, uh, thinking like that, oh, I'm free right now. I'm free right now, they, they do something wrong. Something like that. They do what they want, but they, they don't know if the law is the law. Yeah. You must be to follow the law. The law say, don't drink. If you dry, don't drink. Sometimes like you must be to, to do like that. You must be to follow the law. It's a good, very, very good, something like that. You must be to looking for a job. The job everywhere in Canada. You want to work, they don't... Uh, they have a, a lot of job to work at, something like that. Like for me, I work every job. I don't care all the hard or not hard, something that I work I, until we, we get something, if I want something like that. <laughs> you know that it's like, too hard to buy the house eh, in here? Yeah, too hard. You must be to have a, a lot of money. But the before thinking, if you have a job, I have a job, my wife have a job, I have a job. I have no money, but uh, you, I, like, uh, I have the real job, a permanent, uh, permanent job. 
You can't buy the house, yeah? you can't buy. <laughs> Uh, but we're not the rich, not the rich people, but yet, not the, not the poor people. Yet. Like me, not the poor, but not the rich. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Either the, the children, then something, thinking like that. I think uh, good children, good uh, generation. And here they know that, we we born in here, they know the talking, they know the language for me now. Yeah, you know that I, I, I speak in, sometimes you don't understand what I say. No, I do understand. Yeah, yeah. When we uh, speak English, uh, the sound like I speak uh, Cambodian. <laughs> that, uh, I know that. Your I know, English but, is great. Yeah. <laughs> There's one thing I forgot to ask you. Um, since you came here living in Ottawa, um, I believe about over 20 years, 30 years. How do you feel living in Canada? I think that uh, I'm the, the lucky, lucky I have uh, living in, in, in Canada. Very, very lucky. Because uh, I do like uh, what I want. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah, very, very lucky. Everything all, uh, lucky. Eh? When we go to the um, uh, like uh, to hospital, we don't uh, pay it yet. Uh, we pay by like uh, uh, healthcare. Uh, <laughs> something that, that the government, uh, I think that the good government, in the, they, they take care of all the people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very, very happy. In the, yeah. Is there anything that you would like to add before we end? interview? No, no. <laughs> Just uh, I uh, don't want to ask uh, anything because I know but uh, sometimes too hard to, to talk, to ask. <laughs> my, <laughs> my English uh, not not very good. Just, um, I just want to, um, I wish all the people and you, you guys, and Take care of yourself and happiness, and have a lot of job to do. That I wish. <laughs> thank you. Okay. And we wish the same. Yeah. Thing too. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>